Welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons and Dragons Online Hermadare. And this time I'm heading over to Misery's Peak. I, uh, I don't always do this one before I do stuff in the harbour, but I think on this character at least the, uh, the stuff in the harbour will be trickier and this will be easier. Partly because Charm Person works really well in here, and I have Charm Person as a wizard. Okay, time to kill a few more cultists on the way here. And I guess I'll check on the rares one last time. Uh, which rare? Which rare am I missing? I think it's the. Uh, Methods. Yes, okay, and that is right on the way here. Only 14 uh, slayers away, too. Maybe I should get those. Rumbling falls converge into a small body of water. Yeah, miseries I expect to be particularly easy for this character. Now, one of the big risks in miseries is the magic missile from the spellcasters, but I have shield, so I completely neutralize that. I have charm person, so I'm always going to have some of the uh, some of the, the uh, cultists on my side. And I think my skeleton could pretty much solo the quest. So uh, I've got good survivability and my skeleton should win for me. Cultists, keep a watchful eye over the seas from this strategic lookout. I'm just messing around because I'm so close to 100 kills here. I was wondering why my skeleton was taking so long to get that kill. Yeah, let's rearrange the hot bar a bit here. I swapped in Charm Person, so I don't have Shocking Grasp for this one. I guess I could have switched in burning hands for dealing with the uh, the ice spiders, but I have scorch, so that will do. And there are plenty of spell points in miseries because of the uh, large number of shrines. Which makes sense, this is basically the tutorial area that we're still in here. A bone chilling breeze emanates from the mouth of Misery's Peak. You're here! Come! There isn't much time! Selimus, ready your party. I will weaken the barrier for you. Ready! Now declare your path. 
Hayden clears the passageway for you. Now to find this quarry mine sunder artifact. Hang on a moment, I forgot to switch keyboards. I have a very clicky keyboard that I use for um, typing, a different keyboard I use when I'm recording these videos, and I forgot to switch over again. I noticed that when I was um, uploading the previous session that I also had to on the switch keyboards. I'm still getting back into the hang of uh, doing these recordings again. My skeleton's a little slow, but he's easily able to kill all these guys. They don't have spell components for web. That's a bit silly. I should have been using Web in Redemption as well. So I made that quest a lot harder than it needed to be. I need a good spell casting item to boost my spell damage. Be doing enough to make it worth casting um, my offensive spells. I guess Nyx is doing okay against uh, enemies where it hits. But it doesn't always hit on elite. Alright, so I'm using enough spell points up here. I will actually try in here. I'll do much better against the human groups in here, where I can use Charm. Charm and Hypnosis. The uh, zombies will be a bit of a pain. Not very dangerous, but just slow to kill. The rest of the undead. Well, that was a good shot. I couldn't even see most of them, but I hit them all. While it's a bit silly not having my spell components for casting web, it's not really a big deal here since it's only really useful for the zombies. 
For the human enemies, I'm just going to cast Charm on them. And for the spiders, which are probably the biggest danger in here, it's not useful at all. Okay, we're doing fine. Damn, I had a hard time hitting these spiders. They move around so much. I have always found the uh, area that scorch effects to be quite hard to use effectively. It's a bit too narrow. You really need the enemy to be standing still. It's an AoE spell where the AoE is kind of too small for it to be super useful. But I guess it has to be, because otherwise it would just be a, an alternative to Fireball at a lower level. Wow, so much uh, shattering stuff. I guess the right way to use Scorch is to let them attack my skeleton and Scorch them while they're doing that. Finally getting uh, stars of healing patients. These are the first ones I've seen. I feel like I haven't got very many. I didn't get any in the grotto which I was uh, quite annoyed about. Turned out not to really be a big deal. I'm using a lot of spell points, I need all the shrines in here the way I'm going right now. It's quite unusual. As I said, I'm using spell points very liberally because there are lots of shrines. I could just stand around wailing away with the great axe if I wanted to. Scorch is definitely not worth the spell points that I'm spending on it right now. I took the uh, Permafalling Cloak as my reward from Redemption, by the way, and I'll probably use that to get out of this room in a minute. It's rebuffed, that's why I can't hit anything. Normally I'd be slightly worried about the big spider fight coming up, because uh, uh, as a solo With a second uh, adventure. Activated, you hear the stone door at the base of the cavern rolling open. Because the spider can web you, but uh, it's not going to web both me and my summons, so... So that shouldn't be a problem.
This quest is not the most exciting to play in the game, but it's still, as I've mentioned in previous videos, it's still quite nicely designed just in terms of the story and its appearance. This was one of the quests that convinced me to um, sign up to the game. I really like the vertical use of space in this room. The space and the soundtrack and the, all the, the graphics for the, the sigils and stuff as you unlock this room. It's really nicely done as a uh, sort of climax to the uh, tutorial area here. Right, so that shrine I do not need. Wow, spiders, spiders, spiders. Yeah, this can be quite a dangerous spot if you get a whole bunch of spiders like this. It is quite possible to get mobbed here and lose a character, especially in a larger group. One person gets left behind, or gets webbed, and the others don't realise they've, uh, they've been trapped. I've nearly died up here. I don't think I've ever actually died here, but it's come close. My skeleton keeps running off to uh, attack something else. And there's another one further down. Let's get out of here. The other way to die in this area is if you, um, you come into the quest late and you're trying to catch up with the rest of the party. So a lot of undead respawn in this area. I think I have at least once kited like five or six ghouls onto the back of the party by running through this area. Especially if you don't have um, spot because you don't even realise how many you're, you're, you're um, pulling around. Of course, it's no real danger once you're actually with the main group, so it's usually not a big problem. Alright, getting through the west of the undead part here. And we're past most of the ice spiders. Chills run down your spine as you finally come face to face with a dragon that has been terrorizing Korthos. Even at rest, it is a truly awesome beast. Okay. The door at the rear of the cavern pops open. Cultists attracted by the roar of combat rush out to confront you. Only two cultists, that's not much of a fight. My skeleton's kind of sleepy today. He's pretty slow to attack stuff. He's hardly pulling aggro at all. He's still got quite a few um, enhancement points to go before he's really fully powered up though. My trip is more effective than the skeleton for managing aggro right now. Did they get rid of the animation for the enemies shattering when you kill them with cold damage? 
They have a, like a shattering sound in animation. And instead, they seem to just be going, going out of like a cold mist around them there. Hmm. That's strange. It's more consistent with the other types of elemental damage, but it was rather a nice feature of killing stuff with cold. Perhaps they decided it was over the top. Well, that charm was super effective. The guy charm just isn't attacking anything. Yeah, that's great. Attack him after I kill him, and then immediately on Charm. Okay, here's a good spot for Charm. This is uh, actually a fairly tricky fight if you're in a group that doesn't have any ranged damage. But I have better than ranged damage, I can just Charm all the people that I want to... Uh, I can Charm people on the upper level. But they're all fighting each other. The other guy goes, I charmed. I guess he charged up the uh, slack. And he's down here. These guys still fighting each other. Oh. No, they must have killed the one I charmed before the charm ran out. My skeleton hits pretty hard when he gets a crit. And you look down to see a tunnel beneath the ice. The dragon roars as it thunders after Senemas and Jeets and Talbron. The ruse is working. Very cool feature of this quest. Seeing the party and the dragon under the ice. This section can get pretty crazy when you come in with charm. We might get beyond drag, beyond dungeon or green in moments. Yeah, that might be enough guys on my side for now. Yeah, here we go. Alert the yellow. Right, my guy's one on this side. Wow, there's a real pile up over there. <laughs> What's going on over here? Two of my guys are holding up like 20 of theirs. Wow, I've never seen the charm work out quite like this. Okay. Well, that was a lot of fun. I've never seen that go quite, uh, quite that way. They, they actually bottlenecked there. That doesn't normally happen. Usually, you just end up with loads of people running around, lots of melees all over the place, as charm guys and non-charm guys are just fighting everywhere. 
At that time, they bottlenecked, so they all got stuck in one spot. And they weren't even really fighting. Charmed guys weren't doing much, and the non-charmed guys were kind of messing around. So this is a spot where you can really get hammered if you don't have something like shield to keep the magic missile at bay. They've actually done quite a bit of damage to my skeleton. It'd be pretty hard for them to damage physically, but magic missile goes past his defences. So you can get taken apart in this room on Elite if they uh, all target you with their magic missiles. Blows with power as you engage the first control lever. But where is the second? Alright, so there's a few people left over here. There might be some former charmed guys down on the ground as well. I don't really care about the AC bonus from shield, but I, I need it for those magic missiles. Nice. Oh, how does spell points? Yeah, the charmed guys are not very reliable about attacking these days. They pull aggro nicely. But yeah, it takes them a while to wake up. Okay, I badly need this shrine. Fresh frozen air gust in from the newly opened door below. Okay, it looks like the charmed guys that fell off did make their way back up. Onwards. This is why I swapped charm in for this quest. It's these big groups of human enemies. They're really easy to charm. How much damage their Nyx is doing? Maybe I should be more worried about the Nyx. I think I saw one of these casters do about 30 damage to the guy that was standing here. That's quite a lot considering I'm on 41 HP right now. Because they have to hit, and my reflex save is really good. Plus seven is good for level three. 
But if they do, it could be a bit nasty. They are doing 30 damage, it might be the only point in the game where the enemy's spells are doing as much damage as my spells. Given how differently the HP scales for the heroes and the uh, enemies. Alright, I might not have bothered training, but I'm now actually worried about taking 30 or 40 damage from an IX, so let's get those hit points back. I'll bar up those healing potions too. Oh, wow, he nearly nuked my skeleton. Took 30 HP off with the first hit. him with. Maybe with some kind of uh, horrid wilting or uh, inflict wounds. Some of the demons like to do that. Okay, almost done. Yeah. I forgot the zombies are the problem in here, aren't they? actually giving me a bit of a hard time. We'll start the healing potions. I like how this heavily armoured, strong skeleton, and I'm the one tripping the enemies. I can't remember if the skeletons get tripped later on or not. Six, seven. Wow, so much. Uh, so many starter healing potions out of that quest, and yet none from the earlier ones. Waves of psychic energy pound into you as you spot a green crystal on the ledge ahead. At last, this must be the quarry mine sunder. Mind Flayer and Dragon are locked in a contest of wills. 
This could be your chance to destroy What is my skeleton doing? He's standing in a spot where he can't actually hit the crystal. Wow, he's so um, shrieks as it loses the mind sunder's power. His attacking ability is really not very good. And looks very annoyed. Just the AI, like his character stats are good, but the AI for him is even worse than I remember. Follow me. Hayton wants a word with you. Here, take this portal, so you won't have to walk back. All right, there we have it. And like magic, the snows stopped. Savior of Corthos, they cheer as you return. But destiny has greater plans for you than just this small village. And I'll be taking the uh, Archivist Necklace, of course, because that's an extra around 40 to 50 spell points I can use per quest. Which is a big deal at low levels and not, not insignificant even at higher levels. It's pretty much the choice for any spellcaster. In fact, I have a special slot on my health bar. I always have it on the uh, same bar as my uh, armor. Always in that slot so I know where to reach it. Okay, that is it for this time, but I'll be through in the harbour next time. Uh, thanks for watching.